Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to my channel. This isn't your typical ASMR video from me, but I recently picked up a new camera lens, so I wanted to make just a little video testing it out, kind of sharing and talking through my thoughts, also to get your feedback and see what you think. So right now I'm filming on my old lens, the lens that I've used for a while now. <clears throat> Sorry, my allergies are like driving me crazy today, I don't know why. But I wanted to start out using this lens just so we can do a bit of a comparison and see the difference. Um, so I will share the new lens with you first and then I'll tell you the kind of techie specifics and the settings that I'm filming with now. And then we'll switch over to the new lens and we'll play around and see, yeah, how it looks. So, after a lot of research, I decided to invest in the Sigma 16mm 1.4 lens. And this is what some people might say, like, is the YouTube lens. It's a decent investment. I paid around 400 39 euros for it. I did get it on Amazon, um, <clears throat> so the return experience would be quite easy if we're not a fan, if we don't like it, I'll return it and we can just stick to what we know. Um, that would definitely save me some money, but I am interested in making a little bit of an upgrade and just trying it out. Um, you know, I don't know very much about cameras, but I've learned a few things over the years. I wouldn't say that I'm super professional by any means. I started my channel filming on an iPhone 6s and just kind of learned some things along the way, found what works for me. Let me show you the lens. It's not in this box. I actually got it delivered last night and I did already play with it. I couldn't wait. But this is the first time I'm actually like going to film with it. So here is the lens. I'll show you up close. So again, this is a 16 millimeter, so it is a prime lens, so it doesn't zoom in and out. It's just set at a fixed focal length, focal length of 16 millimeters in case you are a camera nerd and any of these numbers make sense to you, but I did want to explain it a little bit just for some like behind the scenes information. Also, I have watched probably just about every ASMR video that talks about cameras just to learn and get a better idea of what other creators are doing because I think with ASMR content, there's like a specific mood that we aim to capture or that I'm going for. So I like to see what other creators do. So no gatekeeping here. If you're another creator and this video helps you, that's awesome. Um, here's the lens. I like how big the actual lens is. That's kind of what I'm used to. I know some lenses, some lenses have like a really small, um, I call it the eye because when I film, I look into your eyes and I like how much surface area this has for me to experiment and play around with. It feels quite heavy. It's very good quality. Definitely not plasticky like my current lens. So I think if you were to take this lens out with you on the go, it would be a little bit heavy, but I just normally stay still and sit here when I film, so it's not a problem for me with a little cap on the back here just to protect it and this is how you attach it to the camera um, again this has an f-stop or an aperture of 1.4 i'll get into the details about that in a little bit when we do the comparison but now i'll just tell you a little bit about what i'm filming on now i am using the canon m50 mark ii camera so that's the camera body, and I love this camera. I think it's a really great kind of mid-range camera, good for beginners, but I find that it does everything 
that I want it to. Um, the autofocus is really great, and I'm filming with the kit lens that it comes with. So, the kit lens is a 15 to 45 millimeter, which means that it can zoom in and out. And normally, I film all the way zoomed out with a 15 millimeter focal length. So, when I was doing my research, I knew that I wanted something similar with this being 16 millimeter. It's not going to be too much of a change for me, which is good. And the main reason, I suppose, why I wanted to get this new piece of equipment is to play around with a better aperture. So the aperture on the Sigma lens is 1.4. On the kit lens, it can go only as low as 3.5 which is what I'm filming with right now. And if you're not sure what that means, it's basically how much light is let into the lens and it creates this blurrier background when the aperture is lower. So this is like the blurriest that my background can get right now. Um, and I think it's still okay, but it definitely struggles with the lower light setting. I've never really been a viewer that cares too much if ASMR is super high quality or super low quality. Apologies, we have some drilling going on outside. Um, hopefully you're not trying to fall asleep to this video, but yeah, I don't mind if um, the quality isn't great as a viewer, but I edit all of my videos and I'm watching my face and my videos constantly, and I've just been really bothered by the kind of fuzziness in the background, um, the noise, that we see when um, filming with a lower light. So I wanted to get a new lens to experiment and to see if we could fix that and improve the quality a little bit. From what I understand, the way to do that is to lower the aperture and also lower the ISO. So right now, as I said, I'm filming with a 3.5 aperture and my ISO is set to 640 right now in this lighting condition. Um, so just to show you what it would look like if I lowered the ISO, it would improve the quality. I'm going to lower it now, but it just gets too dark, um, so my camera can't really handle a good low light situation. I have to bump it up so that it looks nice. Um, and again, this is the f-stop of 3.5, the lowest it'll go if I were to increase that get lower as well, so, and less of a blurry background. Um, just to explain a little bit about my lighting, I have a small panel light off to my left, and then another panel light that's kind of tilted downwards off to my right, kind of at a 45 degree angle, and I also have a little salt lamp in front of me for more a warm kind of vibe. And this is the lighting that I generally go for. In the back, I do change the colors sometimes. So I wanted to keep the same lighting as I normally have it, change the lens, and see what we've got. Again, I would really appreciate your full, honest feedback. Um, I know sometimes when your favorite creators make changes, it can be a little uncomfortable and not what you're used to. So if you don't mind the current look and, you know, how my videos are quality-wise, let me know. I know a lot of you are probably going to be super nice and say, you don't mind at all. Um, selfishly, I still like to make little improvements. It's just like my nature to want to make changes and tweak things, but I don't want to change too much that it's really going to impact your experience watching my videos. So yes, I think that's everything I wanted to say before we switch over to the new lens. Let's do a quick um, focus test just to compare. Just gonna hold up this little mushroom and have it switch back to me. The mushroom and back to me. What do we think? Mushroom. And yeah, I think it's really great. Honestly, not too many complaints with this lens and this camera. Um, yeah, I could film with it forever and ever. But yeah, just wanted to experiment and make more of a 
professional purchase. So, without further ado, let's pop the new lens on and see the difference. Alright, so I'm now filming with the Sigma 16mm 1.4 lens, and the settings that I have set currently are the exact same that I had for the kit lens, so 3.5 aperture and an ISO of 640, but I wanted to play around with it a little bit and show you what adjusting those settings can do. Um, firstly, here is the kit lens that comes with the Canon M50 if you purchase it with that, and it's definitely a lot smaller. It's quite dusty and dirty. This lens has been through a lot, a lot of videos. Um, so yeah, the Sigma comes out a lot further, and with it being 16 millimeters, I did have to push my tripod back just a bit because it was um, zoomed in a little bit more and I can't manually adjust it. So um, I'm repeating myself a lot just, just to reiterate all of the key points. I feel like we could also adjust the tripod a bit. I'll have to play around with it. Um, so I'm going to bump the aperture down all the way to 1.4 and watch what happens to the background here. Here we go. Oh, I think I'll, okay, one second. <laughs> Obviously I have to, I'm gonna do the ISO first, so the ISO is going all the way down. Let's try 200. Is that 200? And then there's my neighbor's dog again. The aperture all the way down. That's 1.4 super bright, so I think we can even go lower with the ISO. It goes, this is all the way down the lowest it can go, is 100. What do we think? This is 125, fairly bright, um, but did you see what happened to the background? I, I think that's the coolest thing. Um, if, again, you're experienced with cameras, you're probably like, well, duh, but okay, back to 100. I'm not sure, maybe if I bump the aperture up to, that's 1.6, we can do ISO 125. How does that look? Obviously, I'll just have to play around. Play around with it, see what I like the best. I can make the ISO. Okay, this is an ISO of 250. Sorry for your eyes, probably a little scary, but that just goes to show, like, I was filming with this lens at 640 before, and now this is 250, so it's just like such an upgrade in what you can achieve. This still looks bright, but I'll just leave it at that until I play with it. I could tweak the lights and dim them, although this one's at its lowest setting already, so I'll have to like tilt it a little. So yeah, let me know what you think if this blurry background, something you're into. If you're not, if you prefer what I had before, let me know. I'll definitely keep this one so we can use it from time to time if I do end up keeping the Sigma one. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna wait for your feedback and see if I'm um, going to return it or not. So let's do some focusing tests. See, this is super cool. I wasn't able to do this with my other lens. Look how blurry I am in the background. If I could do these up-close kind of visuals. I think this looks super dreamy. I'll have to play around. Let's see how fast. Okay, that was a little slow. I do prefer less of a jumpy autofocus, so a little bit slow is no problem for me. I think it's more relaxing on your eyes. But let's see with the mushroom. Okay, I like how blurry it is back here. How many fingers? How many f that is just different. I think the focusing also kind of depends on how quickly I move things um, or how far back. I put them, like we can make it more smooth if it's slower, you know? I can better control the camera. I 
and back to me. Not bad. Let's bump the ISO down to 100. I think that's a bit bright. I can adjust my lighting again, but this lens is super nice for me to look into as well. Let's get a little brush. Oh, hello. Just okay, so everything is quite a bit blurrier when it's closer to you, which I kind of like. It's more relaxing on the eye. So, this wasn't a huge change, which is why I wanted to invest in a lens, like a huge change for me um, equipment-wise, because I can keep the same camera body that I have which is another reason why I love the Canon M50 because it has the ability to have lens, lenses that can be interchangeable. Um, so I think changing your lens as opposed to changing your actual camera is a great way to experiment with different quality. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say. Let's do some tests with some lower light. So. I'm going to turn off the big light that I have over there, just, um, this is a little inappropriate, but filming with bras makes me really overstimulated, so just one second. <laughs> in my eyes because I don't want to look at you like a crazy snake or something. Um, okay, I'm going to turn it back on. And I... Oh, my hair is stuck to the mic. And I'm also going to turn this light off now. Okay, I think we could create a cool vibe if I do some lighting a bit differently for like dark videos and in general I think there still is like a little bit of fuzziness going on back here which is the whole problem that I was trying to resolve I don't know what else I can do um, I don't want to turn all the lights on in this room like the big light that's not cozy and I quite enjoy my filming lights I don't want to change those so this is what we're working with I suppose Let's play around with some different colors. So I have this little remote and it controls the light behind me. Just see what we've got. So that's like a pink, purple. I can also dim it and make it brighter. Let's dim and see how the background kind of looks still fuzzy. Okay, let's go, keep going. This is like a blue, which I quite enjoy for videos. I don't have green. This is another blue. I guess the other one was more indigo. Absolutely not. That was my neighbor. <laughs> Light blue. No, that's like normal. Just kind of, no, no. And like a yellow. And back to this kind of color. I also have a ceiling light that is reflecting purple down, which is normally what I keep it at. So again, let me know your thoughts. Let's do a little like switch back and forth while I speak. So I'm going to jump back to some earlier footage and just let you take a quick glance at the visual look with the kit lens. And then I'm going to jump back to this footage just for a little comparison. Okay, let's jump back to the other footage for a moment to see how that looks. Check out the background and back to this footage. What do you think? Is it worth keeping or should I return to get my money back is the main question. I do want to keep it though. I just, it's so pretty and it makes for like a 
as I said, just a really dreamy kind of look. This probably makes my skin look awful. Um, that's the problem with increasing your quality. All the imperfections come out. Every time I film with my iPhone, I'm just amazed at how like blurred everything looks. So, um, but my phone is ancient. I still have an 11 Pro. I really want to get the new one. Um, we'll see. I think I will because I don't want to wait another year for the next iPhone to come out and mine is so old. Um, I could keep chatting, but I've been talking for over half an hour now, so I hope you enjoyed this video, found it useful. If you're interested in lens stuff, camera stuff, if you're a creator, if you're a viewer, hopefully you found it a little bit relaxing, entertaining, and I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Let me know if you have any questions, I can answer them in the comments. I'm not sure if I'll use this lens to film my next video, just before I get your feedback, um, because I'm filming this a few days ahead of schedule, so, yeah. Well, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, you're the best, and I'll see you very soon in the next